So a lot of people have been complaining that they can't open a KDP account and uh, phone number issue and um, as well as two-step verification. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your KDP account all from scratch. You can see I'm on my laptop. If you're on a smartphone, it should look like it should look like this. So in case you're looking, uh, want to use the smartphone uh, stuff, it should look this way. And it all. So uh, if you're honest like this, you should be seeing something like sign in and join KDP. So if you already have an account, you can sign in. But if you don't have an account, all you have to do now is to join KDP. So I'm going to click on join KDP. Let's see the error we get and how to rectify this immediately. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to wait for this to load. So I'm going to be on full screen so that you can see everything. First of all, we have to create our account. Then we can create. So first of all, your first and last name, it can be anything. Let's say my name is Augustine. So I'm going to put Augustine. Um, let me say my name is Sam. Then email, I'm going to put anything there. Or But I advise you put in your original email. So I'm going to put, because you're going to receive, um, you're going to receive OTP, which is one-time password on your Gmail. So I advise you use something that is relatable, you get. All right, so having done that, all right, so now I have that, we're going to pick any password of your choice. It can be a digit number, it can be anything you want to use, just use it, but ensure it's up to six you get. So now I've done that, I'm going to hit on create your KDP account, then import that message. You indicated you're a new customer, but an account already existed with the email address. Oh, so it means I have to change this all from scratch. All right, that's not an issue. All I have to do is just uh, try change the mail and see if it's going to work. So I'm going to put in that and we're going to put in the password again because uh, Amazon is trying to check if we have more than one account you get. So I'm going to put it again the second time and we are good to go. So I'm going to hit on create your password. So what we're going to do is to create and see if we have something. Okay, now they say we should verify email address. To verify your email, we have sent an, a one-time password to stuff like that. So I'm going to check my mail so that I put that digit there. Yeah, so if you can't find it, check your spam folder. If you can't find it in your mail, check your spam folder. It should be there. So I'm going to put in what I'm seeing because it's a six-digit code. So I'm going to type it there. Then I'm going to hit on create your account. Then patiently, they said authentication required. Let's see the problem here. All right, now I'm going to read this thing. If you have time, you can read all this for your own benefit. But if you don't have the time like me, you hit on agree. Then just hit on agree then wait patiently and you have that. Now your account has been created. Now the next one we want to do now is try to. We're trying to update this information because if you don't update your information, there is no way. This is just the one step. The next step is the most important thing when it comes to creating your account. So we move on to the next step, then we move on. Now you can create your book, but we have to update this stuff. So now to update this stuff is very, very simple. It's very, very simple. Let's click on update. Then we wait patiently for the next step to be taken. So right, patiently waiting some time, the network can be frustrating. If you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe. You can check the content I make in case you feel like joining my community. Just subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I make new videos. So over here now we have two-step verification two-step verification. Yeah, we have to enter phone number and stuff. Let's see how we tackle this because this has been a problem for people. So I'm going to click on a Nigeria here now and see if it permits us. If it does not permit us, then we move on to the second step. So I'm going to put in my phone number 912445036. Just any number and see. Now invalid message and data may apply. So we have internal error. So to solve this internal error, all you have to do is simple. Now we're going to go st straight to our Amazon website and which is amazon.com. Now over here, we're going to sign in. Yes, you're going to sign in when you come to this place. So I'm going to sign in now in this place. So click on amazon.com. Now you've created your KDP account. You move on to amazon.com, amazon.com. Yes, amazon.com. So now, um, now from here, I'm going to sign in with my mail patiently, I will wait. Then it's going to ask me for my uh, password. I'm going to enter the password I use in creating my KDP account. Mind you, all uh, the username and your password on any of the Amazon platform 
can be used in you get so if you open an account in amazon.com you can use it in kdp you can use it in amazon shop amazon fba any of these you can use it so now what i'm going to do i'm going to sign in now patiently when i sign in then i'll wait and see what i have all right there was a incorrect password okay i'm going to try it again and see what the problem is all right let me hit on sign in and see again if it persists all right now we are still at this place we keep ACAS out. Now you can see the trick. First of all, create on KDP number one. When you've created your account, come to Amazon to sign in. You have uh, this check to either add your US number or stuff. Let's, we're going to click on not now. So I'm going to hit on not now and let's see if we proceed to the next step. Now you can see. Now what we want to do now is to add phone number to this and see if it's possible. For we to do that, we have to go to Amazon security and see if there's any way we can tweak around this and get solution to our problem. So now from here, let me just assume that you're on a smartphone. It should look like this. So move on to this place called your account. So from your account, you move on. Okay, let's see something. Click on your account. So when you click on account, wait for it to come. Click on login and security. So I'm going to click on login and security and see the next step. So let me put on full screen. From here, we have all this and your pass key, your password. I can edit the password from here. From here, we can add two-step verification. But primary number, we want to add a phone number. Let's see if we can add mobile number from here. If it does not permit, then there is no problem. I'm going to type on N so that it takes me to Nigeria, depending on your country. So I'm going to put on 91244503356. Then after that, we hit on continue. Then we'll send a test to verify. You see how beautiful it is. Ensure your smartphone is with you in case they are willing to send. So hit on OK. Then patiently wait for this. There was a problem. One time password can take several minutes to do so. What I'm going to do now is to check for the OTP. So I'm waiting for the OTP to come to my phone. If it does not come, we have another way out. And that is very, very important. So I'm still waiting for the mail to come at my phone number. If it comes, all good. If it does not come, we can do something to this. So uh, now I've waited for this and time, countless number of time, the uh, no OTP is coming to my phone. All right. So now it said uh, several minutes to reach your phone. If you are not receiving it, check that the phone number shown is correct. It means it might come or it might not come. Um, now we want to find a way to create an OTP for ourselves. And to do that now, we have to add two-step verification. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go straight to your account again at this place. So click on your account at this place. Come to login and security. Then patiently wait for login and security. Then we are going to two-step verification. So we're going to turn this on. Yes, for we to turn it on, we have two ways. So the first one we have is using, uh, okay, let's just get started. Let's get started for now. So click on get started. Then we have two ways to do this. We can use phone number or we can use authenticator. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to use authenticator. I've already explained this on one of my video. You can see that. So click on it and watch how to set up your authenticator. Then from that, you can proceed. So I'm not going to be showing um, the authenticator process because I'll do that on my smartphone, but I'll show you the app in particular. So over here now we can read. So what we are going to do, we are going to come here straight to, um, let's say, um, let me go to uh, Play Store, okay, in my other browser. Let me show you the authenticator I'm talking about from here. So I'm going to come straight to this place. I'm going to hit on playstore.com. So playstore.com, okay. So from here, let's click on Play Store. Then it takes us directly to Play Store. I'm going to open Play Store and search for authenticator so that you don't get confused when trying to reach out. So in your phone, uh, search for authenticator. So we're going to use Google Authenticator when it comes to this. So now let's patiently wait. Now we have this one. This is one we are using. Then tap on it and show you install it to your phone. So when you install it to your phone, it opens. So now back to what we, I was saying before. Uh, this one, okay. I'm trying to get back to where I stopped. Right, patiently wait. I'll soon be there. Okay, that should be this place. So from here now, we are back to this place. From here, he said, rather than having one-time password tested to you every time you sign in, you will use an authenticator app on your phone to generate an OTP. You will enter the generated OTP at sign in the way you entered tested OTP. Open your authenticator app, add an account with the app and scan the barcode below. 
So now, what I'm going to do is very simple. Now, I've downloaded the authenticator in my phone. All right. Uh, I just want to uh, recap everything I've said so that you don't get confused. If you follow through to this step, there is need for you to use your smartphone. Then, uh, if you go to your phone, um, if you downloaded the authenticator, download it. Uh, you can watch the tutorial after this. It explains everything about authenticator. Yes, it explains everything about authenticator. So, since I have my phone, I can just decide to scan this and create one. But if you don't have a computer and a smartphone, all you have to do is click on can't scan code. Then in your authenticator, you see a plus sign. Plus sign, click on the plus sign. You are going to see scan, uh, enter a setup key. Instead of scanning, just click on enter a setup key. Then you will see account name at the account name. Type anything you feel like, but if I'm the one, I'm going to type, type Amazon. So when you tap on Amazon, then enter your key. So the key you're going to enter is this digit here. Five, make sure there is no space. Just type it patiently. Then set the key to time base. So you are going to see type of key. Leave it at time base. Don't choose counter base. This tutorial applies to those people using uh, Google Authenticator. So after you've done that, the next thing you are going to do is to hard. But now if you've added, it's going to be easy. But now I want to scan my own since I have my computer. So I'm going to click on scan. Then I'll patiently wait. Then it's going to be scanned. So now my own has been scanned immediately. Then I have it on my phone. So over at my phone here, here it is. So, uh, all right, I'm trying to check it very well because I just received one. All right. So it's on my phone right now. It's on my phone right now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to enter the OTP that was sent there because I have one. So it changes at interval. So ensure you are fast. So I'm going to enter on 211, then I'm going to verify. So when I verify, it should work. Now you can see I've added that. Almost done. Let's see what we have. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it on. So let's turn it on. So when you turn it on, it should um, solve your problem. So it's very simple. Download your authenticator. Now we've turned the two-step verification. Now we want to go to the next step. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, go back to uh, kdp.com. Uh, KDP so let's type on kdp.com. Let's see if we can enter the two-step verification in this place. So from here, let's come to update now and see the best way out of this. I'm doing this all from scratch. So bear with me. You can see now we have two-step verification asking. So it's asking me for my two-step verification. All I would do now is to enter the two-step verification that I created on my uh, authenticator. I explained everything to you. In case you find it difficult, you can chat me. But please watch the tutorial on how to set up OTP on uh, how to set up two-step verification is very simple or you can follow what i said from the voice just follow through then you should be able to scan or able to add it manually so from here i'm going to add that one i have seven four seven four three eight okay it has changed because i told you change at interval i'm going to seven nine three nine eight eight so uh what i'm going to do i'm going to eat on nine eight eight so i'm going to eat on signing then we should have KDP two-step verification bypassed. Now it's taking me directly to the portal. Then everything is loading. You can see, hooray, we have our account ready. If you want to know how to set this up, I explained how you can fill all this information and how you can add your payment method as well. It's very, very simple and not difficult. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, I advise you watch the authenticator as well. Set up uh, your dollar account. Over here, simple, enter individual, enter your date of birth, getting paid. Fill them one after the other when you're good to go. Then if you want to create a dollar account, watch the tutorial on how to create a great account from my channel. Then you have your uh, authenticator fully set up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in other tutorials.